What is up, everyone? Welcome back to the Crypto Blitz, your home for your crypto fix. I'm your host, Ripple Van Winkle. Hopefully, everyone had an amazing day or is having an amazing day. It's the weekend, folks. It's early. I had to get up super early today. I was supposed to have a little conference call, meeting, whatever you want to call it, and then it got pushed back. Just to find out, I woke up early, but all is well. It's Saturday. It's the weekend. We got a lot going on in crypto, which is usually a very odd thing to say during the weekend. But remember, crypto is 24-7. We're going to talk XRP price. We're going to talk technical analysis. We're going to talk about the SEC's reply to the Ripple lawsuit and what they are asking the judge, folks. It is a clown show out there coming from the SEC. It's an absolute joke. We're going to talk delays delays and more delays but all you need to know is folks that all you got to do is hold because xrp is the only or the second cryptocurrency within the united states that has regulatory clarity we just heard this from david schwartz at the apex event that security clearance is not in question i want you to remember that that is very important but wait, wait till you see and wait till you hear what the sec is starting to say now it it really, it's a freaking clown show. Enough about that. Let's jump into this Bitcoin. It's up 0.18% in the past 24 hours, coming in at 25,937. Ethereum, 1,638. It's up 0.58%. USDT and USDC both coming in at their dollar pegs. As XRP is looking at a mean lean 50 cents. As you can tell, XRP stuck. The whole market stuck, folks. Total cryptocurrency market caps, only 1 trillion, 51 billion. There's no new money that's entering the market. We're flat. If anything, you're seeing money just get, get shuffled around. It's going from Bitcoin to XRP, XRP to HBAR, HBAR to XLM, and then back to Bitcoin. That's all we're seeing. September is usually a pretty bad month for crypto, but we got a bull run coming. We got a massive freaking bull run that is coming. We get over to this. XRP, our Bitcoin bull run. Here's what we're looking at. 10 years worth of data, more than 10 years worth of data. 2011 to 2013, you can see the bear and the accumulation zones. 2014 to 2017, we went through the same bear and accumulation zones. Followed by the last bull run in 2018, 2021. What are we looking at right now? It is very obvious we are in an accumulation zone. How do we know that? Simple. Look at the prices. Look how flat the market is. This is where you accumulate. That is what's currently going on. What happens next is an explosion of money entering the markets and going into the top coins, Bitcoin, Ethereum. Bitcoin's current levels are going to 4 to 5x from here. Some people even have them doing a 10x. What I do know is that the potential for a new Bitcoin all-time high is on the horizon. Now, if you didn't listen to my video... I sat down with one of the best TA people in the space. We broke down everything you need to know. We talked Bitcoin. We took the previous cycles. We talked XRP. We took the previous cycles. We talked about the price points you should be looking at. It's 60 minutes. You need to give this a listen. You need to see where XRP is going. You need to start planning your ESIC strategies based upon the points and the data presented in this video. 95% accuracy is what I'm going to give it. It's not financial advice. I'm not telling you what to do with your XRP. What I am telling you is that you need to watch the video. You are going to be blown away and I will be setting up a live stream. We'll, we'll, we will be jumping on a live stream. We will be covering... Bitcoin, XRP, probably do a little Casper, HBAR, Ethereum. We'll take your questions live. Stay tuned for that. I'm trying to get that set up for sometime mid next week at a fair time when everyone's out of work. Maybe like an 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Weezy put this out. Market Watcher, Egrad Crypto, predicts XRP to rally to $150, citing historical data on a three month chart. Could XRP hit $150? Bucks? Yeah. 100%. Will it do it during this bull cycle? I don't see it. This decade? Possibly. 
If 99% of all these cryptos go away and all the money is forced to go into 20, 30, 40, maybe even 50 cryptos that are left remain standing, 100% XRP can get up there. This cycle, nah. Can XRP hit a $1 trillion market cap this cycle, putting it over 20 bucks? Yep. Yep. You bet your bottom dollar on it, folks. Then we jump over to this. SEC reply. Breaking. Come from James K. Filan. The SEC has filed its reply memorandum in further support of its motion to certify the interlocutory appeal. It's a tough word. Don't judge me. The SEC's argument that Judge Torres should stay the proceedings because the SEC is all of a sudden concerned about conserving judicial resources. That's laughable. All of a sudden, the SEC is concerned about conserving judicial resources. They weren't concerned two and a half years ago when all they did was delay, 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 right? And to top it all off, you want to have a good laugh? The SEC is now trying to say that the lawsuit's delayed because of Ripple. They have the nerve to put it out there that the lawsuit has been delayed because of Ripple. If my memory serves me correct, Ripple is the one who went on the attack. They were the ones being sued and they went on the attack and the SEC didn't have all their information lined up. They didn't have credible witnesses. And they were the ones who kept delaying all of the motions and all the proceedings. But they're trying to say it's Ripple. Fred chimes in. It was your honor. This case has been going on a long time. So long a fact that we hope you forget it. It was us that opposed Ripple's request to speed things up at every turn. Really? Ripple was dragging her ass in this case since day one? No. God. Come on. That's funny, isn't it? It's a joke. It's an absolute joke. Here's the article. Weezy even puts it out there. SEC says Ripple is trying to prolong litigation to continue selling XRP to the public. The SEC's latest filings against XRP says appeal is needed to resolve. To resolve what, SEC? You had your chance. You weren't happy with the judge's answers. You weren't happy with the judge's rulings. She compared your little Howie test to the case. And it didn't meet all the prongs. In some cases, it didn't even meet the first prong. If it doesn't meet the first prong, the other prongs don't even have to get tested. Because it needs to meet every single aspect of the Howie test. Neil Hunter says, did the SEC just say that Ripple is the one who wants to prolong litigation? They did. Here it is. Let me blow it up for those of you looking at the screen. The SEC as a plaintiff has an institutional interest in the efficient resolution of this case. The defendants do not. They seek to prolong this litigation as they have already promised to do so. So they may continue selling XRP into public markets. The SEC really has the nerve now to say that they have all of the best interest in an efficient resolution. That's why it took two and a half years to get to this point. Ripple was talking with you guys for over a decade and you did not want to do anything or guide them or lead them. You actually sat down at one point and looked at XRP and said no actions needed to be taken. And then as Jay Clayton ran out the door, he decided to drop a lawsuit. And as the new commissioner stepped in, Gary Gensler, he was told from Jay that he should drop the lawsuit, but he proceeded with it and told his people to drag this thing on as long as they can. And now the SEC is trying to point everything back at Ripple. Listen, Ripple's happy with the outcome. XRP's not a, not a security within the U.S. That's exactly what Ripple wanted to hear. As far as you trying to sue Brad and Chris, you don't think they want to get that resolved? You are the ones who are dragging this entire case through the gauntlet. Don't try to bring this back on Ripple. Ripple wants this whole thing said and done with. They're over it. You think they want to keep spending their hard-earned money? You think Brad and Chris want to sit there with a lawsuit dwindling above their heads? Of course not. And you're trying to say this is their fault? Stu Alderati chimes in on this. He states, Another SEC following another hypocritical pivot. After years of its chairman saying the rules are clear and must be obeyed, the SEC now cries that an appeal is urgently needed to resolve these knotted legal problems. The SEC is one of the biggest hypocrites we have ever seen in this space. It's very clear that XRP secondary sales are not securities. The judge, exactly what they wanted, 
right? The SEC's mission has stated for quite some time, and Gary Gensler has been stated, and Jay Clayton, that the courts will come to a conclusion on what these cryptocurrencies are. They took it to court. They thought that they were going to win. The judge said it is very clear that XRP that is on the secondary market that is going through order books is not a security. And the SEC is pissed that they lost on that. And now what are they trying to do? They're trying to throw this all back on Ripple's lap saying, it's your fault this case is taking so long. It's not Ripple's fault. You guys lost. You lost straight up. You wanted the judge to make the decision. The judge made the decision. Now you're crying because you don't like her decision. And you're saying that Ripple wants to just keep delaying the other outcomes of this case. And there's one thing that you need to remember here. And the one thing that you need to remember is that the status of XRP is not up for question. It's not a security. It's not going to be appealed on the XRP status. We've seen that in the court notes. The only thing up for debate here, for argument, is what happens to Brad and Chris, what happens to institutional sales, and if Ripple is to pay a fine. That is it. This is a laugh. This is a joke. This is disgusting what's going on with the SEC. How they're trying to pivot and all of a sudden trying to act like the good guys. They're the ones who brought the case. And now they're trying to say Ripple delayed it when the SEC's been dragging their feet for two and a half years. Get out of here with that nonsense, folks. I'm going to leave it like that. Listen, enjoy the rest of your day. Wash your damn hands. Be nice and be kind to each other. Ripple Van Winkle is out.